High achieving children bring something to the formula that some low achieving children either don't have or have been so frustrated that it's thwarted, and that is motivation. They are uh, a select group because they have demonstrated and they have been successful at achieving. So they feel they face challenge with a more positive attitude and they have been reinforced for, for competition and achieving. So they are going to take this task on as they take on all other tasks. As a result, they're going to be more involved, they're going to be highly motivated, and they're going to follow instructions as they did in order to be the high achievers. And, and chances are they're going to get results quicker and faster than those that are plodding along. And it's sort of a no-brainer, <laughs> pun they, intended. Can they still make substantial improvements? Oh, absolutely. Because if, if, if you get a high achiever, uh, even though they're operating, you won't see the gains in percentages uh, on a chart as much as you uh, would. But what you're really getting is the impact of that change on everything they're doing. So their ability to be creative and to think in broader terms and to make contributions, absolutely. They are probably the ones that gain, uh, I would say, most because everyone's needs determines what's the most important thing. But when you see the, the result of the time and effort put in, I think with the higher achievers, you get a bigger bang for your buck uh, in terms of output.